Hello guys, in this video we are going to uh, answer extra practice 4 from pre-intermediate book face-to-face -face second edition. Okay, so let's go to the first question here. Uh, we say uh, write the types of film. Okay, so the types of film and we have the pictures here. So number, uh, number one we say a comedy, number two an film. So um, we're going to write it here together, say, and we, we give, they give us the first letter, so it'll be easier to remember. Some uh, people say like, an adventure, okay? Adventure, okay? An adventure film, to put here. Okay, and this uh, number three is here, uh, science fiction. Okay, I'm not gonna write with the first letter, I just write all of it together. Science, okay, and dash, then fiction. Okay, science fiction, or write it here together. Mm. Science fiction, okay, and four, mm -hmm. it's Thriller. Five. Drama. So it's five. Drama. And six. Animated. Animated. Okay, then let's move to the next one. Okay, let's make it a bit smaller. Mm -hmm. So fill in the gaps with the present perfect of these verbs. Okay, we have go, read, work, appear, cook, meet, C study. Um, present perfect means that we have to change the verbs to past participle. Go with a gun or bean, read, read, work, worked, appear, appeared, cook, cooked, meet, met, see, seen, study, studied. So here we have the positive or negative. Okay. So for example, let's say I've been to the USA, she in a film. So what do we write in a film? Uh -huh. And negative. So we say she, because present perfect, we, uh, we must write hasn't, okay? Hasn't. Then the verb should be appeared. She hasn't appeared in a film. Mm -hmm. She hasn't appeared. Okay, number three, a lot of films in English. A lot of film in English, so we say, I've, uh, I have seen. Okay, I have seen a lot of films in English. Number four, a meal for more than 20 people, and it's negative. Okay, so we're gonna write cook. So I haven't cooked. Okay, I haven't cooked. A meal for more than 20 people. Number five, my brother, and still positive for three different companies. So my brother mm -hmm, has worked and six, my dad positive Chinese. So you say has studied, has studied Chinese and seven positive. I, uh, a Harry Potter book in English. So I've read 
five breadth contraction a contraction half so i bread okay and my parents negative <clears throat> my new boyfriend so my parents haven't met haven't met my boyfriend okay so this is the answer for question number two now let's go to number three okay now in uh, Question number four, find 12 types of music. Mm, okay, so let's put it a little bit bigger here so we can manage it all. Mm. Okay, 12 types of music. Okay, so first of all, we have uh rock and roll okay then we're gonna have dance dance it's here dance okay then folk okay then jazz and pop Then we have classical. Okay. Then let's change the color. Okay, so we have here yeah, opera. Then rock. Then reggae, then hip hop, and the last one is blues. Okay, let's count them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. Okay. Let's see the next one. Exercise number four. So in exercise number four, choose the correct words. Choose the correct words. Okay, so we say, um, let's have it here. Okay, so have you ever because we have have so it's a present perfect so we cannot write go if we have did we write go but now because it's have so we should write been have you ever been to a musical festival okay the answer should be yes i because you started the question with have so you uh, you must answer with have yes i have okay then after that you give more information, so you start with, you say, I went to, yes, uh, Glastonbury in 2011, okay? So, number five, you, you, you're going to ask more questions now, and when you ask more questions, uh, you need more information after the present perfect uh, question you ask in past symbol. So, we start like, did, okay? Did you? And because you have did so you you must write enjoy because it's infinitive after did we write infinitive did you enjoy did you enjoy it yes i and you answer with did then you have it okay so it uh, was fantastic but it rained a lot is still giving the information in past symbol. 
Okay, so let's go now to the next one here. We say your brother ever in a, a band, okay? So you start an, again, start the question with has, present perfect, and because has, you should uh, choose been, okay? And because you started the question with has, you answer with has. Yes, he has, okay? Then now you give more information. So was, okay, he was in a rock band when he, okay, was, more information, was a teenager. Okay, so number five, uh, number 15, um, here you ask, you still ask uh, about the same. So you say, did they, okay, did they, and because did, you choose play. Did they play many gigs? Okay. No. They, because you ask the question with past symbol, so you answer with past symbol, only played. So only played. Okay, guys. Mm, let's move to the next one. Number five. Mm -hmm. Okay, number five, just match a word from A to phrase from B. Matching. Okay. So, we say cable TV. A chat, should be a chat, show. Soap operas, soap opera, and turn on reality TV program and remote control. Okay, then we have game show, then download a program and a 3D TV, a DVD player, then it's a, it's a minute. So to be clear, turn off and change channels. This is the answer. Okay, exercise number six, choose the correct words again. Let's make it a little bit bigger so we can see more. Okay. Okay, so, um, just a minute. Number one, that's interested. Uh, that's interesting. Number two, the news is, uh huh. We say worrying, and the grammar for worrying because anything makes you feel will put ing. If you are talking about your feeling, we choose ed. So the news is worrying. So I'm gonna be worried from it. Three, I always feel, so it's feeling relaxed after doing yoga. Tom's excited or exciting about his birthday party. Tom is talking about, we are talking about Tom's feeling, so he's excited. Five, I am, okay, say I am tired or tiring time for bed. I'm talking about myself, I am tired. Six, that noise, that noise is uh -huh, here annoying because it makes me annoyed. Seven, the film was really uh -huh, boring. I was so, I'm talking about myself now, I was so bored, I fell asleep. 
So if you talk about your feeling, ED, something makes you feel, we add ING. Okay, now number four, let's do it part by part. Okay. So number four, fill in the gaps with these phrases. Okay. So mm, let's put, okay. So do you think English is an easy language to learn? No. So number two will be definitely not. So let's write it here. Def definitely not. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you say, I think it's really difficult. Three, Cla Cla uh, Carla, so we say, what do you think? What do you think? I'm sorry, I don't agree. Okay, mm -hmm. the verbs in English are easier than Spanish verbs. So we say, yes, maybe you're right. <laughs> okay, so this is the answer for the first part. Second one. Okay, so we say, I don't think money makes people happy. Number six, we say, I'm not sure about that. So we say, not sure about that. Mm. Without money, life is very difficult. I agree with Bob. I agree with. It's hard to be happy without money. What about you? What about? Nine, with that, do you agree? Ten, no, I don't think so. Okay. Yes, and that's everything. This is the answer for extra practice four. Thank you, guys. Goodbye.